What's up, people? It's a new breed podcast with another Friday reaction vid. This week, we're doing the newest song from the Acacia Strain, Untended Graves. Have you heard it yet? Maybe not. No, Maybe I so. Haven't. Tim hasn't. Let's give it a listen. Is Let's it as it. good as the old stuff or is it better? Let's check it out. Yeah, yo, I, you I, think? Guess, I guess they took that out of National Geographic, huh? <laughs> what you think of the song? Yeah, yeah, really good. I fucking think that, like, I, I really love the Case of Strain, like, the first three albums. And then, like, a couple albums after that, I was kind of like, eh, kind of boring. But the last couple have been really fucking good, man. So this is the closest they come to, like, the Dead Walk yeah. and 3750. I mean, even, I mean... I, I like I actually like the last album, which was all the EPs put together. Like when they yeah. did the kind of weirder stuff was good. They lost me in the middle. I'm like you, Tim. I love 3750. I thought the Dead Walk was good. Um, I mean, this, I like and life is very long. I think that's a great record. This is them getting back to their fucking ridiculous roots. Yeah, ridiculous roots. And and I think I think it's funny because a lot of bands realize like, hey, you know what? Like we haven't done that kind of stuff in a while. Like let's go back to what we're fucking known not known for, but let's go back to what we're we really like. Because I think well, a lot of bands well, really yeah. like the style that they did before, but they go to a a different one because it's like you got to go with the times kind of thing. Yeah, no, that th this is them going back to the sound that they they the, the heavier. Less experimental sound they started with, and it's fucking great. Like, I mean, I, I think the new album is going to be really heavy. I think it's going to be throwback to the mid to the late nineties, early aughts metalcore that we all really, really loved from them. So I'm really, really stoked for this. I'm yeah, really they're, stoked. They're ridiculously good live too. Yes, yes, tight. And 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 it's a surprise. I mean, no offense to them, but it's surprising that they're this tight because they've had a lot of churn in their members. They've Swapped out guitarists, they swapped out drummers, they swapped out basses the whole night. But they still put on a really, really, really good show. And this song is really ridiculously heavy, and I really think it's gonna be good. Oh, I love how time. I love how it's only two minutes and fifth seventeen seconds too. Oh, which like is the best in, part. You fucking get out. Yeah, I love see see like when you get the five minute metalcore songs, it's like come on, man. It's like, man, I'm, I'm, yeah, we, you turn to Joe Biden. Come on, man. Yeah. yeah. We, it's, just, it's tough. It's up, but no shout out to the Acacia strain. I mean, they've been going on, they've been going for fucking 20 plus years and this is awesome. And 
I really hope this is a sign of them kind of taking it back to their heavier roots because it's really, really, really cool. Definitely. So tune in next Friday, another reaction vid. Who knows what you're going to get? Are you going to get new grunge? Are you going to get new metal? Are you going to get death metal? Are you going to get slam? We don't know. You don't know. But come and find out. We don't even fucking know. Cheers. Ah.